Welcome back everybody to what I believe is the fifth episode of this game. Um, <laughs> the last time we had the Manishek deprived of their son. He was taken away because we told him to go to the hospital. Um, which we didn't really want to do. I just told him that the girl was sick and my guy just keep tell kept telling the kid to like, oh yeah, it's in this hospital and you need to go there and do it like this. Um, which I didn't want. I wouldn't have sent the kid there if at any point during the conversation I had been given the possibility to stop doing that, I would have. Anywho, um, Jacob left afterwards. The wife is still here. And she said she'd help that child if she was alone, so maybe. Uh, and now we have an exclamation mark over Simmer, so this might actually be... Um, what, what, I tried talking to her and I couldn't, but... How's that doing? She passed away. My god, it's unbearable. Parents should not have to bury their children. I, I'm worried about Maria. She's on the brink of nervous breakdown. Okay, so that didn't work. And I'm great news, Hector. I landed the pub. The opening night is coming up. It will be amazing. I haven't been this happy in ages. Please come see the play in a month or so. I'll get you a free pass. That's great news, but I'm afraid I won't be able to make it to the in a month. I'll probably be gone. But I'm glad I was able to help you. I'm sad to hear that. In that case, here, it's my health permit. It's all I have to give you. Perhaps you or someone else could use it. I know how hard it is to get papers nowadays. Who knows? I could. It could save someone's life. Thank you, Murray. Good luck on the road to celebrity. Okay, we also could have just bought that for like 2000. So, remember that guy was actually selling it. Oh no, Louisa. She's gonna be so mad. <laughs> Hello. Um, Louisa, what happened? Why were you deprived of custody of Marcus? He said Marcus ran away from home, but he rushed to rescue his sister. He's my little hero. How did he know? I didn't say a word to him. What are you going to do now? Let's go. I need information. Bring it to me. I must know where he is. I, w I won't abandon my son. I beg you, Hector. I know you can help. I'll see what I can do. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna get her killed too. We all know it. The Ministry of Upbringing is considering removing children from unreliable families to ensure they receive a proper patriotic upbringing. But they already do that. These youth will be sent to education camps. At the moment, there are five options. Military, science, medical, labor and arts. From the youngest age, our children will be raised to have traditional values and learn to work for their country and become good citizens. Why would the patriotic, the propaganda paper print this picture of the children being taken away like this? People have been debating about how to bring up children since the dawn of time, but history teaches us that youth should be raised in a loving and nurturing environment and learn to work and be responsible for themselves. In other words, they need to be raised in the real world, not in a lab. Comrades, let's not allow our children to be taken by my mama. My voice of truth is... Ah, it's getting too predictable. Um, who could I ask? Here's your food. I'm assuming I'm just gonna call someone. Dial the number. Acquire mark 1000 repetition points. I don't have that kind of information points. I'm gonna call the Euthanasia Center just because I haven't done anything about this yet. National Euthanasia, how may I help you? Oh, this is Hector Medina. I've put my affairs on. No, 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 no! No! no. But, uh, the car we were waiting for. I. Uh, <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. I was expecting him to say something along the lines of. Uh, I don't want to die. Okay, I have three families here, if I see that correctly. Let's get these. Okay, I need a thousand points. Ah, no, no chance. Um, cat, cat, cat. I want that mice, that mouse. You gonna give me that mouse, mate? Ah. Uh. 
So I really don't know what to do about this. Like, what could be offered? Um, I'm going to break into him. I'm not going to evict him. Because I know he has illegal things in there, so I can just tap him again and then evict him and get one of the other two that don't have a place in my apartment yet. Because I don't think he'll be much more important. Um, he already had two jobs for me. Um, one I don't know how to answer. And... Um, one I refuse to do for him. So... And he doesn't do the love potion for me because I didn't do the other thing. So... I think getting rid of him is the smartest move here. And probably I should have just done the other things, but... Um, the things he asked me to do, but 6.12 from 2nd. Sorry, man. Need your apartment. There's the new kid. Christopher Dunsman, meet. Greetings, I'm Hector Medina, the manager. It's Christopher Dunson, Minister of Order, Field Officer. My wife and I are supposed to be issued an apartment in Section B, where we'll be temporarily staying at your building. What's up front? What do you mean, Hector? War is the cauldron of violence devouring our age. You're a poet, Christopher. Those are the words of a pacifist we sent to jail for 20 years. He was handing out anti war flyers. Oh. So basically you're an asshole. Did I, did, did I sum that up correctly, mate? I don't mean Rosa Rennick. There's someone standing in front of Rosa Rennick. Oh, wait. I haven't even spoken to her yet. We're, we're living in the mines, but receive call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Have you heard about the blissful sleep procedure? Don't worry, mind about perhaps the uh, If they want to save money, they could cancel everyone's pensions. Those who have kids would survive. The kids would support their parents. I've heard that how they create jobs and drive the economy. I don't understand the economy. I'm too old for all that. Remember my words. If a person receives nothing early in life, he or she won't work later on. It's been getting colder and colder. How do you feel, Rosa? No better than I should by my age. The pain in my back never goes away. Monk says I need a warming balm, but where could I get one? We haven't seen mustard or pepper for 10 years. I'm sorry, I wish I could help. Okay, so maybe I can buy it uh, while I'm here. I'll have to talk to Dawson here uh, in an, a second. And Nathan, can you find out whether they took Manishik's kid? Uh, kid? You said you saw information too. You have a great memory for an 85 year old Hector. How did you know? About you being 85? About not really being 85? Ah, I see what you're doing. You're showing me that you do know things. And are able to sign formation cover. Bingo again, my friend. There's one thing I don't understand, Hector. Pretty soon you'll be taken to the Eugenia Center, so why are you trying to help people? See, I don't understand that either. I honestly don't. Like, if I was this guy, I'd do anything to find that. Like, okay, yeah, it's sad about your child, but I'm dealing with my own shit. Uh, soon, nothing you've done will be of any consequence to you, so why do it? Because it matters to me here and now. Settling up your conscience before accepting the inevitable? Let's get to the chase. I think what he's getting at is he can help me. Uh, orphanage for 500. That's not really money, sure. Can you just give me the information? I want to give it the 500. Like, this is not a big thing for me. Um. Damn it, I've missed her now. Beats his wife. Oh. What a douchebag. Yeah, hero of, of the state, right? Yeah, that's the hero of the state right there. Yeah, they're waiting for him. He's coming home. I'm sorry, mate. But I... Uh... Well, that's it. Oh, okay. That's okay. So I don't even need the 1000, um, that works for me. 
move in. This sounds good. Looking for an apartment and three rolls of copper wire. What? <laughs> I'm gonna go with him. New government directive. Report all information regarding the case of a victim with white gloves to the authorities. Oh, the white gloves thing, that was the killer where we read in the beginning that they didn't know why he left uh, white gloves on the bodies. So... Sir, you need to say hello. It is very important. Well, actually, before you do that, let me talk to my cat. She needs something. Provide the cat food. Are you hungry? Meow. Here you go. Um, I also need to say hello to her. Well met. It. Hello, well met. I'm good to. Pleased to meet you, Hector. What is your occupation? That's for my report. I'm a nurse. So, do you work in the hospital then? I can tell you, Hector, state secrecy. What? <laughs> Just answer yes? Discuss the battery. Yeah, actually. Also, your husband beating you. This is none of your business, Hector, so please stay out of it. You know nothing, you won't understand, and I'm not going to tell you. And the main thing, Hector, just forget what you saw and never spy on state officials again. But this is my duty. Please don't argue. I love my husband. He's an amazing man. And that's all you need to know about our family. Well, I think you're a bitch, but <laughs> you still shouldn't be beaten. Discuss is healthcare. I've heard they started financing healthcare more. That's true. We finally have disposable gloves and needles. Alas, the needle becomes blunt too fast and causes a lot of pain. That's not the problem with non-disposable needles, but discuss medical symposium. I've heard there is a conference of big shots in medicine, though this year some tricksters occupied one of the sections registered by deceit and are doing crazy things. I laughed my head off after reading that thesis. Let me think, what do you think about the report on using motherland soil to treat blood pressure? Or this one, 10 ways to use a sagebrush for infant diseases. Then again, the official section has its awkward moments too i.e. treating respiratory diseases with lice soap. The speaker's wife is the soap factory director, as far as I know. That's impressive. Um, anything more you have to say? No, just the weather. They're both out, so I can actually um, look through the things after this. I'm Hector Medin, the manager of the apartment block. I'm Lionel Kramer. I'm a writer, collecting data for my new book. How many have you published already, Lion? This is my first one. Then why do you say your new book? I see, it just sounded like you had books published before. Don't say anything wrong with that, this book will be a new one. <laughs> well, you are a bastard. Is he a white glove murderer? Why would this come up? Only for him, but not for anyone else. Discuss books. What's your favorite horror? I like plot twist sector. Sometimes you can get one in kid books, sometimes even in anatomy <laughs> textbooks. When the story winds around the bone like a muscle and the reader's thoughts cuts it, like a razor and sends it boring out of the cutthroat. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, sorry, I, I got carried away. I should write that down. To cut a long story short, I like different books. I think you're very disturbed. Have you heard of the latest crime by the, the White Glove Murrow? What do they say? Found another boy right under the bridge. I, I used to cross that bridge on the bus before. And now they find this poor woman there, naked, destroyed, someone's daughter, sister, mother. Who could do that to a woman? Perhaps the criminal has a goal. Maybe he's trying to send a message to the world. What message could that barbarism convey? He brutally murders women, but first undresses them completely for whatever reason and puts white gloves on them. Shouldn't he say that? He was the one explaining it, wasn't it? The newspaper says it's his signature. What white gloves? What signature? Is he a janitor? Why, necessarily a janitor, perhaps he thinks he's on a great mission, like a surgeon, removing cancer cells, like a director orchestrating the symphony of others' lives. Are you trying to justify his actions? No, he, he's actually giving you an explanation right now. This makes sense, what he's saying. Not at all, murders are so horrible. I completely agree with you. I must go now. Good things to do. Um, what do you want? Medina, could you lock your cat in the basement? I hate animals. I le must live in a clean place. 
both physical and spiritual. And those dirty animals the stronger harm me. Sometimes I want to hurt them, but forbid myself. No way, this is the only living being I'm really attached to. Mind you, if something happens to Aura, you'll be in major trouble. Sorry, it's just that I've avoided animals all my life. Do you have kids, Hector? Yes, a son, he's 30. Too bad you don't have a younger daughter. Two kid families are perfect. Sometimes I just don't get you, Lionel. No, I think he wants to murder my daughter. I think he's disappointed that he doesn't get to murder things. Um, let's be happy about that. But there is a chance I feel that he's going to kill my cat. And if he does, I'm going to kill him. Uh, a book that's been read many times. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Let's find something and I'll talk to the guy about him being a woman-bearing bastard and then we'll see. Um, I mean, obviously that woman isn't too normal herself, but still. Uh, no reason, right? Ooh, a tie. Let's hope they become illegal again. Wait, was that everything? I, I barely found anything about anyone here. Is he leaving? Where are you going? Please tell me you're on your way to the bus. Yes, he is. Uh, this must be a rough draft. Yeah, obviously. But at least he's actually writing a book. It's actually... I mean, I'd rather find a rough draft in a writer's apartment than the head of the women he decapitated. Bubble, rare and example. I like newspaper clippings. So, Bob is well used. Okay, he smokes a lot. Uh, someone who plays a lot of chess games. Book, name, states, other than from nothing of interest. Why, why is that not of interest? I'm still thinking he might be a murderer, in which case this would really be helpful. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Skeleton, this is a real human skeleton. It's wearing gloves. Table. Nothing. Okay. So, he's definitely a weird kid. Um, we haven't been able to prove if he's a killer or not. In the closet, I found it in Kramer's closet. I need to find out who it was. Um, probably I can call someone for that. Dial the number? No. Um, I see medical students tend to have skeletons at home, so he might just be somehow connected to that. He already said anatomy textbooks and stuff, but fun about the chance. Yeah, I'm gonna pay the five hundred. Did you find the kid? Yes, he was taken from the hospital to orphanage number nine. It's outside the city limits. It used to be a foundry, workshop number three. When the minister shut it down, they turned it into living quarters. You're a good man. You are a good man. I don't know what I would do without you. I don't know. Um. <laughs> All the illegal stuff is so super ridiculously expensive that I ca just can't afford it. Um, I'm gonna send his uh, report just because um, I think we found like five things about him. I think two, two. Yeah, here we, we found seven things about him. So Lionel, in apartment number five male he lives alone and he's a writer and arguably a serial killer um, we found all these things go up here <laughs> manchek's still polishing his gun that's how we know him that is how we know him uh, lana kramer should i just bring it up no, no, why do you keep a skeleton in the closet? Where did it come from? You know, Hector, this is my late wife. <laughs> I loved her very much, so much they couldn't part with her when she passed away. 
I just couldn't bury her. Understand that looks crazy, but try to believe me. Her presence comforts me. Yeah, the, the smell of rotting humans always comforts people, right? How do I know you're not lying? You don't know. You either trust me or report me. In any case, you'd think I'm insane. So all I can do is pray for your mercy. I have to think about it. Hector, since you know my secret now, and in case you decide to not report my pecu peculiarities, please help me. What do you want? I'm not here for long, but leaving without my wife? I need a big suitcase transporter, and the one I had is ruined. Please help me find one. And as well, you never hear from me again. Uh, what do you guys say? Should we just report him? Should we get the suitcase? Um, <laughs> what do you say? Like, I feel like I've murdered enough people, right? Oh, but just getting him out wouldn't... Remember the last time I tried to stand up for someone and it ended with me getting stabbed? So, if he is this killer, he's just gonna kill me, so I don't tell, right? So how about we help him? Okay, I'll help you. Do you sell suitcases? Um, greetings. Large suitcase. Do I have a large suitcase? Not on me, but I can get one. How big? Big enough to hold um, a human skeleton. Yeah, I'll just be honest. A human skeleton? That's not really worth measuring volume. <laughs> like if you have what you need. <laughs> of course you want thousand. I'm giving you a discount because I like unusual requests. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I knew I could rely on him. He he he's the real he's the real deal. He's he's just it. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we need to give Louisa the address. Louisa Oh, she's home. Uh, she was just standing in a dark spot. Dup, dup. Hello. Um, nope. Talk about that. Yes, Luisa, I know where Marcus has been sent. He's an orphanage number nine. Thank you, Hector. You've been tremendous help. I gotta do no snowballs. What's next, Luisa? I become a criminal who kidnaps her own child and runs. My god, what about your husband? He refused to help the letter when she needed us. My god says he won't like this idea either, but I don't have the energy or the desire to persuade him otherwise. He already moved out for some reason. Tell Jacob not to look for us. But he doesn't live here anymore. I'm really pressing my thumbs for her. Um, I, I hope this ends only slightly as terrible as I made it because both kids are... One is dead and one is in this institution because of me and the guy I left and it was... <laughs> this is not a good place to be. Okay, I'm gonna cut the episode here. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly did. And I will see you for the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.